paper. This is what you need to be reading. What is it? Hello, it's our holiday gift list. These are all the presents you're going to buy us. Just how many items are there? Three hundred and, like, fifty-eight. Three hundred and fifty-nine, Brittany. Oh, is that all? Well, we didn't want to look too, like, greedy. So, we're ready for our first present. Jewelry works for me. Or cash. Girls, there's more to the holiday season than just getting things. When I was a boy, I didn't receive many presents at all. Maybe just one or two. <laughs> <laughs> one or two? Daddy, you're like hilarious. Now, how about our presents? Now listen to me, girls. Neither of you will receive a single present until you can show me that this season is also about giving. Uh, giving? What's that? It means doing something nice for someone. Maybe even someone less fortunate than yourself. But everyone is less fortunate than us. Just one person will do. Uh, Whitney, what? Just happened, Brittany. I am just about to be, like, super smart. Who's the biggest charity case we know? <gasps> Bly! See, you're super smart, too. <laughs> you think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. to the park later. Hi, Mrs. Twombly. Hello, dear. Gather round, sweeties. We have a very special winter camper today. Nyah, nyah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say hello to Parker. He's a penguin who's come all the way from the South Pole. <laughs> I have a sister who lives there, but she's not a penguin, of course. <laughs> huh. I wonder if they ever met. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Step aside, non-funny pets. I got this one. Welcome to Little's Pet Shop, Parker. Mind if I break the ice with a little penguin humor? <laughs> uh, great. So, where do penguins go swimming? At the South Pool! <laughs> um, excuse me. Gee, not every pet likes my jokes, but I've never had a walkout. <sighs> I want to be outside. All that snow makes it look like home. Sounds like he's homesick! Homesick, huh? Well, they say laughter is the best medicine. Hey, Parker, what do penguins like to eat? <laughs> Burritos! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's tough. Glad I'm not playing to a whole crowd of penguins. Oh, Pepper, you just gave me a great idea! You know, Zoe, there's something almost magical about a city when it's covered in snow. Yes, I look great. Oh, I mean, it looks great. <laughs> Dry bar, come and pick up the luggage and stuff. And tie it on top of the limo, but like, better this time. OMG, look, Brittany, it's Blythe. This is so like Carmen. I think you mean karma. And why do you say that? We want to invite you to our winter chateau. You're inviting me to your chateau? Yeah. <sighs> Don't make us say it twice. And why would I want to go anywhere with you after everything that you've done to me? Brittany, what is she like talking about? I have no idea. She's into making stuff up. It's like her thing. Francois? I thought these two fired you. Actually, Miss Blythe, I'm Francois too. Francois's twin brother. Francois has a twin who's 
also named Francois? Yes, ma'am. Our parents weren't very creative. Today's my first day working for the Biscuit family. Um, hello. We can't wait all day. Are you, like, coming to our chateau or not? Wild horses could not drag me to that chateau with you. Who said anything about horses? Uh, well, it's not like we didn't, like, try. Francois, too, could you be, like, any slower with that luggage? Uh, hurry it up or we'll fire you, too! Uh, uh, yes, moms. Uh, right away, moms. Go! <laughs> We look great! Well, thank goodness for Blythe Style's formal wear collection. Maybe seeing us all looking like penguins will make Parker less homesick. That's the idea, anyway. Come on! Hey, Parker! Look at us! <laughs> <laughs> You all look like penguins. And that makes me miss home more than ever. <laughs> oh, let me give this another try. Hey, Parker! Where do penguins like to dance? <laughs> the snowball! <laughs> snowball! <laughs> Well, at least I got him to stop crying. I call that a breakthrough. Well, Blake should be back any minute to take us outside in the snow. Maybe that'll cheer Parker up. Where is Blake? <sighs> OMG, we're finally, like, here. I need to relax. Sitting in a limo is like... Exhausting. Well, what are you waiting for? Get our bags! <gasps> oh la la! Zoe like. Blythe and Pat, you decided to come! We like totally knew you secretly wanted to. I did not want to come! We got shoved back there with the luggage. Didn't you hear me banging on the back window? Oh, that was you? We thought it was like a limo ghost or something. Brittany, now we can so totally put our plan into, um, you know, do our plan. And then we'll get our holiday presents. All 359 of them. Who are you, like, calling? My dad, to come pick me up. Ugh, my battery's dead. Can I use your landline? <laughs> Landline, how 2005. Yeah, sure, you can use it. If we have one. That's right, Dad. I'm up in the mountains at the Biscuits Chateau. Could you come get me? Oh, Blythe! Yes? We brought you some hot chocolate to warm you up. And here are some cozy slippers to soothe your icky feet. Icky feet. Uh, thank you? Blythe, maybe we should stay. It is the season of giving, after all. You mean as in giving them a chance to redeem themselves? Hmm. Dad, change of plans. I've decided to stay a while longer. Oh, and can you let Mrs. Twombly know that Zoe's with me? Thanks. I sure hope I'm not gonna regret this. Time for treats, everyone! Well, sweeties, it looks like you're stuck with just me for the day, since Blythe has decided to take an unexpected trip with the Biscuit Twins, of all people. Well, I know you can't understand me, but I think it's kooky, too. So if Blythe isn't coming back, that means we're not... Going outside in the snow? No. Parker is not going to like to hear that. No. I wish there was something we could do to get him back home. <sighs> Well, we can't just hail a cab to the South Pole and put him in it, can we? No, but maybe we can do the next best thing. <sighs> Thanks for talking me into staying, Zoe. I thought it would be awful, but it's been pretty okay so far. <laughs> <laughs> She's like doing it again, talking to her dog. So weird. That's what happens when you grow up the way she has. You know I can hear you. Time for your custom pedicures. Robotella! Robotella, commence pampering. Wow, you have your own spa 
Rhubarb? Yeah, doesn't everyone? Well, no. Blythe, you don't have to put on a brave face for us. We totally know how harsh your life is. You know, just because I don't have a spa robot doesn't mean my life is harsh. You're probably crazy from hunger. These cucumbers were grown from solid gold seeds and harvested by a team of unicorns. Enjoy! <laughs> Lucky for you, there are people like us who are totally into giving and not just with cucumbers. <sighs> FYI, Blythe, this is the most expensive meal you'll ever eat. So, like, chew slowly. Um, it's cold pizza. It's not just ordinary cold pizza, it's space pizza. We had it delivered from a restaurant in outer space. Bet you've never been in a Relaxinator 9000 before, Blythe. Ugh, I've been in a hot tub before. Although, never as big as this one. Guess what this is? It's a bed. I sleep in one every night. Although, not one like this. That's because it's not a bed. It's a premier princess swan feather softy bedtime sweet dream cloud sleep experience <laughs> made with, like, magical self-massaging swan feathers. And actual clouds. <sighs> Cloudy. <laughs> this year was a good, good, good idea you had, Russell. Just drop the temperature in the room to something more p -p -p penguin friendly. <laughs> yes, I, I, I don't know why we didn't think of it sooner. Wow, I feel great. So good, in fact, that I can do this. <laughs> that was awesome. It was better than awesome. It was good. Hey, hey, uh, Parker, what do penguins eat for, for lunch? Iceberg! Errs! Ah, 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 all cold. But Parker, that joke was actually kind of funny. Why are you so sad again? Well, I appreciate that you made it cold for me, but Pepper's joke just reminded me of something that would really make this feel like home. Please say burgers. Please say burgers. Ice! Way to g g go, Pepper. Pepper. You look so cute. You do. We're totally ready to, like, hit the slopes. But did you forget? We don't know how to ski. Uh, don't worry, Brett. We'll go watch Blythe tumble down the mountain and then take the chairlift back down. Oh, Whitney, you always know what to say to, like, cheer me up. <laughs> Blythe, I know the biscuits say some really rude things, but it seems like they're trying. Oh, they're trying all right. But to do what? To be nicer people. And look, they're about to take us skiing! All right, Zoe, maybe they have changed. In some sort of weird, backhanded way that I don't completely understand. At all. So I guess there's only one thing to do. Go skiing. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> so how much longer do we have to pretend to be nice to that major charity case blech? Just until Daddy shows up and he sees how giving we are. Then we can send Blight packing. And her little dog, too. And then Daddy will shower us with presents. All 359 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Blythe was right! Is it time to check the ice yet? Parker, it takes a while for water to freeze completely. Well, it looks frozen enough. Oh, oh it's frozen all right! If it wasn't, my toe wouldn't be stuck like this! Billy, <laughs> do not worry! I shall free you! Gotcha! Thanks, buddy! Wow, we really lucked out. No line for the chairlift. What good would it be to own your own mountain if you had to wait in line to use it? You own this mountain? Whoa. <laughs> What's 
wrong with your dingo, Blythe? Yeah, it's totally acting psycho. Zoe, what's the matter? Francois, too! Remove that mongrel! She's not a mongrel. Zoe! Whoa! Life, it's hard to enjoy the scenery when your mutt is the one making a scene. Be a good girl, Zoe. Sit, sit. You're not gonna talk to her again, are you? Is that like your pretend superpower? Talking to pets? <laughs> we should tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Parker, there's your ice. <laughs> awesome! It's just like home. <laughs> Mm. Boy, that's odd. <gasps> the day camp's window looks frozen from the inside. What in the world is going on in here? <laughs> Zero degrees? Oh, my heavens. I must have turned down the thermostat by mistake. Oh. What a soggy mess. Well, looks like I can finally use my new Flood Sucker 3000. Parker, I'm sorry we couldn't make it like the South Pole in here. Oh, that's okay, cause I'm not homesick anymore. You're not? Nope. I got to thinking, home isn't always just a place. It's also a feeling you get when you're with friends. And doing all the stuff you've been doing for me means you're all my friends. Aww. Hey, Pepper. What do you call a penguin smile? A pen grin. Oh, good one, Parker. <laughs> Excuse me, but Zoe is freaking out. <laughs> yeah, we noticed. I'll be right back. Zoe, what's the matter? I overheard the twins talking about you. They said you were a charity case. They're just using you to show their dad that they can do a good deed, and then he'll shower them with presents. <sighs> How very biscuity of them. Listen, you two. No, you listen, Blythe, because we have a surprise for you. We're giving you a chance to ski down our mountain like we do. I'm Francois Two's back. What the what? Shall we go? No, we shall not. I already know how to ski. And unlike you two, I actually like doing things for myself. I don't need someone waiting on me hand and foot. <gasps> now you cross the line, Blythe. You know what else I don't need? A spa robot, massaging feather beds, an Olympic-sized hot tub, or pizza from outer space. <sighs> get over yourself, Blythe. Ugh, you two just don't get it. Most people don't have their own mountain, but that doesn't make them charity cases. I know you're just using me as your good deed so your dad will shower you with presents. Listen, Blythe, we did all this to prove to our daddy that we know what this season is all about. Yeah, so you have to go along with this, at least until he gets here. No need to wait, girls, because I am your daddy. Your role? Daddy? <laughs> Just say that. Life. Thank you for saving my girls. You're welcome, Mr. Biscuit. Oh, Daddy, we like totally knew you were Francois too the whole time. For reals, it was so mean that we went along with it just to teach you a lesson not to be so mean. Well, I had to see for myself if you could really do something nice for someone less privileged than yourselves. Excuse me, Mr. Biscuit, but by wasting time on me, your daughters missed a chance to help someone in real need. I agree. And I know just the person they can help. Bonjour, monsieur. Francois? That's right, girls. I have hired Francois back at double his salary. If you are very, very nice to him, then you might just get one or two presents. One or two? That's 357 less than we like. 
deserve. Girls? Okay, Daddy. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> may I drive you home, Miss Blythe? You may. This is what this season is really all about. How does she have our number? Ugh, she is so weird. 